One of today's most controversial constitutional issues is the right to die. Oddly, it means exactly what it says. Under certain conditions, people are able to end their life through a position. Here today to speak on the issue is a representative from Oregon, the only state to pass a Right to Die Act, Dominicia Scott. Hello, thanks for having me on your show. Thanks for coming. So Oregon passed the Death with Dignity Act in 1997. Tell us what exactly this means. A law was enacted permitting physicians to prescribe a lethal dose of drugs to certain terminally ill patients, a process often called physician-assisted suicide. This is the only law of its kind in the United States, and it has caused great debate at the nation's capital. Suicide is a tough way to put it. I didn't know unconscious people could kill themselves. Do you feel there is a good chance that a similar act will be added to the Constitution? Yes, there is a good chance. The act has many supporters, but some say that assisted suicide is not constitutional. How would this not be constitutional? Take this case for example. Terry had been in persistent vegetative state, PVS, for 10 years. Her husband had her feeding tube removed, but many state senators and Terry's parents believe that her condition did not constitute a vegetative state. The state of Florida decided to place her back on the support until the situation could be further evaluated. This case was unconstitutional because it placed power in the hands of the executive branch that should have been in the judiciary branch. The Declaration gives people the right to life, but nothing about death, so this does not seem constitutional or just. Exactly. There is a right to life, but when you are a veggie, <laughs> there should be a right to death. The Fifth Amendment's Due Process Clause prohibits unfair, arbitrary actions by the federal government. The government should protect the lives of these people. But the Fifth Amendment also gives these people the liberty to make a decision for their self to die. It is their life, not the government's. Well, since this act is not in the Constitution yet, how is it determined whether current vegetables live or die? The Tenth Amendment gives the state power to make decisions not in the Constitution. That is how Oregon passed the Death with Dignity Act. There are certainly many pros and cons of amending the right to die. We may see it in the Constitution someday. Until then, veg out.